Okay, so what I am showing here is the AA Saver kit. Now, simply speaking, the AA Saver is a voltage booster that uh, can convert the output from um, two AA batteries uh, to a regulated 3.3 volt or 5 volt by using this switch. Uh, so that you can use it directly as an LED flashlight or you can use it as a breadboard power supply. So the circuit is based on Microchip's MCP1640 uh, booster regulator, which is this little chip here. It is quite efficient, uh, so it can work with batteries that are almost used up uh, or close to the, uh, the end of their lifespan. So here are a pair of old batteries. They have been used for a long time. So um, each one, if I measure the, the output voltage, can only output about 1.0 volt. Okay, so now I plug them in to the AA Saver kit. And I turn it on, there's an onboard LED here, which uh, indicates that the power is turned on. And now I, if I measure the output from this, you can see that um, it can generate, um, I think they're good enough to generate a regulated five, uh, close to five volt output. And I can also slide the switch um, to select a 3.3 volt output. The circuit can be used directly as an LED flashlight. So here um, I have soldered uh, these two uh, LEDs onto the AA saver board with uh, two uh, current limiting uh, resistors. Uh, and now I plug in the um, battery and I turn it on. So you can see that it, they can serve pretty well as, uh, as LED flashlights. They're pretty bright. Um, so the two LEDs are currently um, drawing about uh, 60 uh, milliamps uh, in total. So, you know, it's pretty bright. Um, I can, of course, also use this voltage selector to uh, control the brightness. Alternatively, you can also use it as a breadboard power supply. So here I have uh, soldered these uh, two uh, pin headers onto the board, um, and uh, the uh, spacing uh, between them um, matches the standard uh, a breadboard, so that I can use I can plug it in directly into a breadboard uh, to power my circuit. So um, so just just to demonstrate that, I plug in the batteries. And uh, then I, I have a, a very simple, um, like a LED uh, experiment here. So I turn on, and you can see that um, it can very well um, serve as a breadboard power supply. And of course, I can control the uh, the voltage output uh, between either five volt or three point three volt. The, the maximum uh, output current uh, under the regulated voltage output will depend on uh, the conditions of the batteries. Now, with a new pair of batteries, uh, this circuit can uh, sustain at least 300 milliamps uh, of regulated output. Uh, but even if uh, your batteries are almost used up, it can still output at least 50 to 100 milliamps, which is often good enough for a, a breadboard experiment like this. So there are some nice advantages of using uh, the AA Saver kit as a breadboard power supply. First of all, it runs from two AA batteries, so you don't need to plug this uh, into um, a power supply, and I find this really convenient. And second of all, uh, there is sort of an implicit current protection here, uh, which is if there if you accidentally short uh, your circuit in in some ways, then uh, it only causes the uh, the voltage booster to drop uh, the output current and it won't actually cause any damage. So compared to like using a uh, power adapter or something, I find this uh, also uh, in more safe to work with. So you may be wondering what if uh, the batteries are almost completely depleted so that uh, the circuit can't uh, sustain the current required by the uh, this bright uh, LED light. Well, this is what happens. It becomes uh, a flashing LED flashlight. Okay, so we can measure the voltage uh, on the batteries. So it's pretty low. It's only about 200 millivolt. Um, and uh, so it can be in this state for quite a long time, at least a, a few days, if you just leave it like this. 
which I find quite interesting that you know it just flashes like this. So I had the idea of uh, making this AA saver circuit because I had so many uh, old batteries laying around. And these are batteries that have been reported dead by all sorts of gadgets like uh, cameras, uh, remote controls, smoke detectors, wireless mouse or keyboard. I was about to throw them away, but then I measured their voltage and I found that they actually have quite a bit of juice uh, in them. So I thought, why not uh, uh, you know, harvest the remaining energy in them? So next time if you're about to throw away these old batteries, don't do that. Um, save them and uh, make use of them using the AA Saver kit.